Welcome to the daily word for the feast of Saint Thomas. Today's reading is taken from the book of Habakkuk, chapter two, verses one to four. I will stand at my watchpost, and station myself on the rampart. I will keep watch to see what he will say to me. And what he will answer concerning my complaint. Then the Lord answered me and said, "Write the vision, make it plain on tablets, so that a runner may read it. For there is still a vision for the appointed time. It speaks of the end, and does not lie." If it seems to tarry, wait for it. It will surely come. It will not delay. Look at the proud. The spirit is not right in them, but the righteous live by their faith. This is the word of the Lord. The righteous will live by faith. Habakkuk was one of the minor prophets, and he ministered to the southern kingdom of Judah towards the end of the seventh century B.C. He lived in a time of upheaval, uncertainty, and injustice. And the book is a lament and prayer to God about the evil and suffering in the world. In the book of Habakkuk, God says that He's raising up the nation of Babylonia. So it may have been written before the Battle of Carchemish in 605 BC, when the Babylonians defeated a combined Assyrian and Egyptian army, making them the new regional superpower. During this time, Judah was suffering under the evil kings Jehoahaz and Jehoiakim, who were both sons of King Josiah. King Josiah had been one of the very best kings. And had ruled Judah well for 31 years, but after he died, his sons plunged the kingdom into darkness. These events made Habakkuk deeply disturbed. In chapter one of the book, he calls out to God and questions why God has allowed this injustice to come upon Judah. God's answer was that He would send the Babylonian nation to punish and destroy Judah for her sin. This was not the answer Habakkuk wanted to hear, because the Babylonians were even more evil than Judah. Habakkuk wanted to know how God could allow more and more evil and suffering in the world. Habakkuk chapter two verse four summarizes God's answer to Habakkuk's question and the message of the book as a whole. The Lord said to Habakkuk, "Look at the proud." Their spirit is not right in them, but the righteous live by their faith. The Lord wanted to reassure Habakkuk that the proud and evil Babylonians would in turn be judged, just like Judah was punished. In the same way, all evil would eventually be judged and punished, but God would save His people, not by their good deeds, but by faith. Habakkuk chapter two verse four is quoted in several places in the New Testament, most significantly in Romans chapter one verse seventeen, where the apostle Paul quotes it in his thesis statement for the book of Romans. In the book of Romans, Paul takes several chapters to show that we are all evil, and we all deserve God's judgment, but we can receive salvation through faith in Jesus. This gift of salvation by faith in Jesus. Is what is meant in Habakkuk two verse four, where it says that the righteous live by their faith. We are saved through our faith in Jesus, not by our good deeds. And even our faith is a gift from God. The message of Habakkuk chapter two verse four should encourage and humble us all. When we look around this world, we like Habakkuk. Will at times be deeply disturbed by the evil and suffering. It is right that these things should sadden us, but we must not lose heart. 
God is a good God, and he will eventually judge and remove all evil. However, we need to realize that the same evil in the world is in our own hearts as well, even if it is not immediately obvious. As the Apostle Paul says, there is no one righteous, not even one. It is only because of God's great mercy that we can escape judgment along with the rest of the world. This offer of salvation is open to all who trust in God because, as Habakkuk says, the righteous live by their faith. Reflection What evil in the world causes you to be angry or sad? How do you see glimpses of that same evil in your own heart? Why should God let you escape punishment for the evil in your heart when you deserve judgment like everyone else? Let us pray. We thank you, our God and Father, that you will not allow evil to continue forever, but rather that you have set a day for final judgment, when evil will be punished and removed. Forgive us when we fail to acknowledge the evil in our own hearts and the suffering which we have inflicted on others. We acknowledge that we also deserve your judgment, and we praise and thank you that in your mercy you have allowed us to receive the gift of salvation, to live by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.